the transformation technique has been given and illustrated in the one-dimensional, that is the univariate case, and also in the two-dimensional, the bivariate case. If you read in the book, it will also be generalized to the n-variate case and also the piecewise one-to-one -one case. But at this point, we're going to go off onto a tangent a little bit here from the transformation technique, and we're going to look at order statistics. Even though at first glance, it might look like order statistics really don't have to do with transformations, they really do, and the, and the transformation technique um, that we've been using so far can actually be used. So here's the notion associated with order statistics. Idea is to let x1, x2, up to xn be the values from a random sample from a continuous population. Discrete populations are a little bit messier. With corresponding order statistics, x1, x2, up to xn. The idea here is, this is sometimes called the raw data, and it's just the order that the data values came in. And then when you put those data values in sorted order, those are known as order statistics. And you're sorting them from the smallest to the largest. The distribution of the order statistic is often of interest because of two reasons. First of all, many of the properties of these order statistics are distribution free. In other words, it doesn't matter if you drew from an exponential or a normal distribution. And second of all, there are some applications such as k out of n systems in reliability or say some non-parametric statistical technique such as a rank test. So these are order statistics and an example will be given on the next slide.